I take a little student every year, even though my schedule is impossible, <laughs> but I always make space for a little. It keeps me honest. It keeps me in touch with the, begin the foundation. And I never forget that. We are privileged to touch the lives of these little kids. It's a huge responsibility. And what you do with this child and how you nurture the curiosity, the curiosity of music has to do with that first teacher. You know, some kids already come with musical talent that, that shows. And then there's some kids who arrive who don't even know why they're there. <laughs> the, the mother said, or the father, it's time for piano lessons. And what does that mean? Um, it's time for piano lessons for the child and for the family. Piano lessons, you're going to include music in the life of your family. So I, in order to teach somebody, in order to teach a little kid, I have to think about who is this person that I'm going to meet? And what does he or she bring to my life? <laughs> and so it would be terrible if you said, okay, now is the, here's the piano lesson and you put, the, you put your hand position like this and you know, find all the C's and do plink, plink like that. And so I, I am ready to do that, but I want to know who that person is. <laughs> And what do, what do they know about playing music? Are they surprised that they're on their first piano lesson? What are the expectations they have from me? Because I have a future with them, but I don't know who they are. <laughs> and so I want to know what they love and what they like and how they sound and what is their favorite thing to do. What do, what do they enjoy? And I want to ask, you know, if they say, well, you know, I like playing baseball, let's, let's say. And I said, well, do you play in a team? And, and what is your favorite position when you are with, in the little leagues? Do you, are, you, are you good at batting or do you pitch? And what, that kind of thing, I want to know because that's going to tell me a lot about their passions and, uh, and about their ability. Because every position, I'm, I'm just making this up right now, but every position in a baseball game has its own quality. You know, if they just want to hit that ball or do they want to catch it? Do they want to s throw it to the next base? Uh, why is the shortstop over there? That's the one that saved the game, you know? So, so there's, there's different heroes there. Uh, and how do they get to love the baseball? Does the parents share that love? Has he ever been to a baseball game? Uh, those are all important things for me to know before I make him know about my world. I want to know that there's going to be a relationship developed from that first meeting. And I want them to feel at home that I can talk what they do instead of talking about myself and who I am or something. There's a moment in which I say, well, I'm, I'm going to be your piano teacher, <laughs> you know, and we're going to start doing this. But th that beginning is so important. I, I think the, the child at that point makes a decision, I like this guy or I like that lady, you know. Um, and then they're willing to share uh, or they may show some reservations in which then you go into maybe other kinds of questions.